Uh, so how long was this kind of in the works, in the making, and, and what was kind of some of the, the background in, in getting this together? Well, obviously, uh, you know, it's been in, in, in the making for a while and prior to my arrival, and, and rightly so. I think once uh, the reality was that Oklahoma and Texas were coming, you know, into the SEC, you start thinking about the opportunity to renew the rivalry and, and how do you sort of move the rivalry forward, kind of what you heard today, but also be respectful of the past. And uh, so relative to this sponsorship, you know, that's been a little bit more recent. Uh, both schools currently are Learfield schools, so that helps, right? Mm -hmm. So you're thinking about... And Cotton Holdings has been a, a corporate sponsor of, of A&M for some time. And so we started thinking about, you know, how can we advance this? How can we really try to grow the rivalry and, and make it as special as it can be? And uh, so just grateful for Pete and his team to step up in, in a really big way. And um, it's a three-year commitment with mutual agreements, uh, potential to extend it even further. So, you know, we, we want some stability and some continuity in, in, in the showdown. And so I think that'll be really important. In the world of, of NIL, how, how much more important is choosing a sponsor and planning a partnership um, that you know, maybe could help the athletes as well and go, and go beyond just this, this game? You know, there's, there's all of that new nuance, right, as we make decisions, as we run our business, as we think about how we can best position our programs. And, uh, you know, Texas is no different than us, right? We're, you know, I tell everybody all the time, we're, we're in the competition business, and at times that can be uncomfortable. But that's how we get defined in our business. And so you're always going to be looking for ways that you can help advance, you know, your football program. Obviously really important. It's your primary revenue generator. But you know, these are the types of things that I think can really enhance and, and advance your brand. Um, obviously in the state of Texas, this game is really, really important to a lot of people. It divides a lot of people. But this is what makes college athletics college athletics. I'm not telling you, you know, I played a lot of football games. The rivalry games get different. They just do. And it's a privilege and an honor to get to play in rivalry games like this. And I said it, and I believe this. Give us a little time. Texas, Texas A&M will be the best rivalry football game in college football. Uh, it has that opportunity. It has that passion. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Well, what is this sponsorship and well, there's, there's a lot of details around it, and at some point, all of them, we'll be able to sort of release a few more of the details. Uh, you know, we have some of the, the basic general parameters of it all laid out, but I, I'd rather not at this point lay out exactly what it all details. Obviously, there's a monetary component to it. You know, there's there's inventory that the Cotton Holdings has access to that's advanced from where we currently are. Uh, but there's actually some additional details we're still working on. So we'll, we'll keep working on that. You talked about playing uh, do you get a sense that this is a respectful rivalry game, uh, maybe at the athletic director uh, level, but be uh, you know, below that level? I, I don't get to define that, right, as athletic director. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, I, I just spent three days uh, in, uh, in Asheville with Chris and the rest of the ADs in the SEC, right? So there's a working relationship with all the ADs as we're sorting through all the challenges in college athletics, recognizing, you know, that, uh, that perhaps down the line there's some hard feelings, and uh, that's okay, too. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Like, uh, you know, I think I read about the one SEC robbery, good old-fashioned hate, you know? I mean... Yeah, these are the things that college athletics, and particularly the SEC, you know, are, are really rooted in. And I think you embrace it. That's great. That's what drives the energy, the passion. I mean, what's the alternative? I'd much rather have this older than the alternative. So you have motivated people who care deeply about their institution. Um, and uh, that's okay. It helps drive your passion, your focus, your energy. It's a marker in the, in, in the sand, if you will, and, um, and it creates accountability. I'm okay with that. Yeah, they, they mentioned the, the first matchup is the volleyball game. Does this sponsorship entail all sports or just the football game? Uh, it, it entails all sports, and so there, there will be, my understanding is there's going to be a, uh, you know, sort of we're going to keep track of all the sports and, uh, you know, sort of, you know, come up with a cup, if you will, a competition, you know, throughout the course of the year that entails all of our sports. And so, you know, obviously the focus is on the football game because of the history and tradition, but, uh, you know, this will be a rivalry that I think can enhance past football and uh, will be important to all of our programs and students. So that, that, I would assume it doesn't include the like, Question. Well, yeah, I mean, there, there's certain sports. It's almost like the director's cup, if you think about it. You know, whatever you're both playing in, there's, there's, you know, 
there will be a heightened awareness anytime Texas A&M goes into Austin to play in any sport and vice versa. That's only natural. And uh, again, I I choose to embrace these things. I would think they're awesome. I will just do that. I got to experience the energy. I got to experience the passion. Um, and uh, you, you know, I, I, I'll never forget. I mean, I played so long ago that they didn't have permanent lights. And all of a sudden, when you're playing a rival and you watch Musco bringing in these lights, I'm like, wow, this must be a big deal. And it was a big deal. There's a different level of investment. There's a different level of interest. And uh, the student athletes really kind of different. It's, it's really yeah, in the few months you've been here, what kind of a impression, for lack of a better word, that you've been able to learn about how uh, empty situations feel about it? Not necessarily a rival, but a rival. Oh, in the SEC? No, you're a Texas A&M fan. I don't know. Oh, I, 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 I get a lot of uh, you know feedback from fans from time to time. I'm a lot of that But, you know, I think, I think most of all, the fans are excited for people that are playing Texas. I mean, it's only that. I would also say that there's quite a few fans that, you know, are not particularly you know, love the other side. It's just, you know, that's part of the life. So our job is to, you know, be a lot of noise when you go into these types of games. We can talk and we talk to us about it all the time. We can get caught up in the noise and the energy. At the end of the day, what happens on the field is really important. So you need to invest your energy and time uh, and create a program of substance that can handle all the noise that's around you. So, but, but, in this, in with the perception of this last race, from the outside, you know, growing up here when I played, I mean, Texas, Texas a and it, it was obviously a very important rivalry. I do, like others, but when this game sees it, it's not what the college athletics was at Oklahoma. It's regional rivalries that drive fan bases and the energy around the And so, uh, you know, I, I think there is a real excitement in you know, at least on our team and our athletic department. You know, maybe some fans will make it, right? In this revenue sharing world that's approaching, how important was it to get a sponsorship on this game? And we're always talking about new revenue streams. Oh, I think it's critically important. Look, I mean, we're you know, that, that's the other thing that you have to put in context, right? So we're all viewing this game through the lens of the previous rivalry. Now we haven't had it for 12 years. Think of where college football has changed in those 12 years. And so the reality now in terms of strength of brand, growing your brand, growing your revenue, looking for new creative ways, um, you're gonna need to do more of this kind of stuff rather than less, right? Like this is, a, you're gonna have to embrace these types of things, not run from them, and, uh, and then be successful within them. Is there a certain trophy that you guys have discussed maybe as being a, being a part of this program? Uh, there, there has been some discussions about those types of things. I don't have specifics on the details of that. Those are some of the, the details, as I mentioned earlier, that still need to be worked out as we kind of work through it. But that'd be kind of fun. I just got a, a trophy the other day from NACTA that was a detailed our sixth place finish in the Director's Cup. And so, you know, I mean, people are proud of that and work towards that. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. CDC kind of joke that this game could move to a neutral site. Was that was there ever any serious oh. consideration for that? No, we were joking on the plane together because he also uh, received quite a few phone calls uh, from his constituent stakeholders saying, you're not announcing we're moving this game to a neutral site, are you? I mean, again, that would be uh, really uh, counterproductive to a rivalry. I mean, what, what makes it special is when you get to host it on your field in your town. Uh, and so, um, you know, like I said, we would go to Norman, Oklahoma and play in that game and when it was back in Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, it was different. So uh, these are the types of games that they need to be played on college campuses. That's what part of what makes the rivalry special. Trey, will this game be played every year? I know that hasn't been determined yet. It hasn't been determined, uh, you know, Brent, but I, I will tell you, and I, I don't want to speak for Chris, but I want it to play every year. Uh, I think it's important. Uh, I think it's something that uh, you know needs to be part. Of. I think it's I think it's important to Texas. I think it's important to Texas high school football. All of it needs to be played every year. Now there's some nuance to that. How many conference games are we going to play in the SEC? How does it impact the college football playoff? Um, you know, when you start getting into you know different scheduling models, many of us quote have more than one traditional rival. 
And what you don't want to do is get into a point where you're asking Texas to say, well, who do you want your rival to be, Oklahoma or Texas A&M? I mean, so I'm hopeful we can get there, uh, but I, I want this game played every year. Trev, Chris, Chris just said that he, he might like to see the game played on Friday night moving forward. Obviously, it's, it's on a Saturday this year. Do you have any thoughts on that? Do you have any preference at this point? Yeah, I, I'm very much in favor of, of those considerations. What I'm most in favor of is looking at what window – do we own the best, and particularly in prime time? So part of the challenge is when this game got announced and the date got set, you know, at Texas A&M, we have a lot of pride and traditions around games. And so there was a lot of work that was done uh, surrounding the game that would have been really hard to unwind. But I, I would not be surprised in the future that the game moves to Friday night. Obviously, we work with our television partners. But I'm most interested in driving the Texas A&M brand and the best place Remember now, the NFL has gotten more involved in different windows. We want this to be the premier prime time window. Whatever is best is good for us. It needs to be on Thanksgiving Day weekend. Though. But based on what you just said, you would probably rather not have it on Thanksgiving. Yeah, correct.